Hello students, today we will be solving the IB Math AA AGL November 2023 paper 1 question 5. You will be getting the links to the previously solved questions of this paper that is the first four questions of this paper and the other solved questions of the other papers in form of playlist in my channel NS Online Math Tutoring Classes and also now you will be getting more playlists where you will be getting the past paper solved questions grouped by the topics in my channel okay and this is a common question common to both the sl and the age level students for the sl students it is question six and for the age students it is question five i am nilanjana sanyal i'm an online ib math a age level tutor in case you want to join my sessions you may contact me for more details my phone number and my website link is given below at the bottom of the screen so without any further delay let us start answering this question the maximum mark is 6 the binomial expansion of 1 plus kx whole raised to the power of n is given by 1 plus 12x plus 28k square x square plus dot 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 plus k to the power of n x to the power of n where n is a positive integer and q is a rational number find the value of n and the value of k okay so we are having this binomial expression which has to get expanded it is getting raised to the power of n so if i expand it what happens it is n c 0 1 to the power of n and kx to the power of 0. Of course, these are getting multiplied. Plus in C1 times 1 to the power of n minus 1 times kx raised to the power of 1 plus in C2 plus in C2 times 1 to the power of n minus 2 times kx raised to the power of 2 and plus dot 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 plus n c n times sorry 1 raised to the power of 0 this is multiplied and kx raised to the power of n so this is the expansion okay so we know n c 0 is 1 and 1 raised to the power of n is 1 k x raised to the power of 0 is 1. So this is the first term is 1. We are seeing the first term given as 1. What is the second term? n c 1. If you know that n c 1 is n then it's fine or else it is paper 1 so you cannot use the calculator and n is a variable so you cannot use the calculator even if you had the calculator with you. So it is n factorial over 1 factorial times n minus 1 factorial and 1 to the power of n minus 1 is of course 1 and times kx kx raised to the power of 1 is kx plus n c2 n factorial over 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial okay times kx whole square so it i can write this as k square x square and plus dot 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 n c n is again 1 1 raised to the power of 0 is 1 and kx whole raised to the power of n is k to the power of n x to the power of n so this is given to be equal to 1 plus 12x plus 28 k square x square plus dot 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 plus k to the power of n x to the power of n so this is given so we have to find the value of n and the value of k therefore the first term and the last term they are the same so we have to equate the second and the third terms to get these values 
So let us first of all take the second term and n factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial is what? n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on. Dot 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 up to 1. And n minus 1 factorial is one, n minus 1, n minus 2 and so on, n minus 3 and so on up to 1. So this part and this part they will be getting cancelled and we will be having only n. So we are having the second term as, therefore, from the second term, you don't have to write all these because you will not be getting so much of time. So it is n k x is equal to 12 x. So I can cancel these two and I get this relation n times k is equal to 12. Okay. What happens to the third term? This you see n factorial over n minus 2 factorial is what? n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 dot 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 1. I am writing these specially for the SL level students. 2 factorial is 2 and n minus 2 factorial is n minus 2, n minus 3 and so on up to 1. So this part and this part, they will be getting cancelled and we will be having n times n minus 1 over 2 from this portion. Okay. So therefore from this third term, it is n times n minus 1 over 2 and k square x square is equal to 28 k square x square. Okay. So, I can cancel the k square x square from both the sides and I am having n times n minus 1 over 2 is equal to 28. So, I am expanding this part. It is n square minus n is equal to 28 times 2 is 56. Okay. And it is a quadratic equation. So, I can solve it. Let me bring all the terms to one side. So, it is n square minus n minus 56 is equal to 0. And since I do not have the calculator, I will be factorizing this. Negative 56 is, 56 is, uh, the factors are 7 and 8. 7 times 8 is 56. And we should be getting negative n minus n as the middle term. So, I can write n square minus 8n plus 7n is minus 56 is equal to 0 or I am taking out n from the first two terms and it is n minus 8 and if I take out 7 from the third and the fourth terms I get n minus 8 equal to 0. So, this is giving us n plus 7 and n minus 8 equal to 0. And they have said, you see, n is a positive integer. If I take n plus 7 equal to 0, n's value will be negative 7, which I cannot take. Therefore, n is equal to 8, since n belongs to the set of positive integers given. Okay, so the n's value is 8 and we have found n times k is equal to 12. n k is equal to 12 implies k is equal to 12 over n which is equal to 12 over 8. Therefore, k is equal to, if I divide the numerator and the denominator by 4, I get 
3 over 2. See, k belongs to the set of rational numbers. So, k is a rational number. The k value is 3 over 2 and the n value is 8. So, we have solved this question completely. Thank you for staying with me till the end. And in case you are liking my explanation, please give this video a like and please share this video with your friends so that even they can get benefited by watching my videos. And in case you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel till now, please subscribe to my channel. It will be motivating me to make more math videos for you as well as it will be telling the YouTube that my videos are worth watching. So it will be showing my videos to other students as well. And we meet again very soon in our next session. We'll be solving the very next question of this paper. So till our next session, bye.